In this video, we're going to show you how to build an email campaign. More specifically, we're going to create an email promoting our new online store. In the marketing section of Forest, click the View Campaign button, followed by New Campaign and Email Campaigns. Click Create. The first thing we should do is give our campaign a name. This will make finding it to report on much easier later on. This is just for you, so don't worry about clients seeing your name. Next, select which type of email we want to send. You can pick from any of our pre-made email templates ready for any campaign. These templates are a great way to remove the thought from your process. All you need to do is make a few edits to match your salon's brand. Or maybe you've had some success with a recently sent email of your own. If this is the case, you can always edit and resend. For the purpose of this video, we're going to show you how to build a beautiful email from scratch using a blank template. To kick off creating a new email, let's start with our subject line. What's the message you're hoping to get across? This is the first step to grabbing your client's attention. Keep it short and sweet, maybe add in a relevant emoji to stand out, and most importantly, don't forget to personalize it. Including your client's name is a great trick to avoid spam filters. It's time to build our beautiful email. By default, a text box is the first block in your email. You can begin to write your content here, but for us, we want to start with one great big hero image. Search for one from over 500,000 free to use images. Edit and insert it, or upload your own. Adding an image doesn't end there. The email editor gives you the tools to edit and format your images for beautifully designed emails. The next stage of our email is to include some content worthy of our reader's time. You can input a text box from your home screen or move the one you already have around. You can duplicate or delete any of these blocks too. Don't forget to start off with one of our five golden rules by including our client's name. While we want to promote our new online store, instead of selling to our readers, let's sell them the idea. It's far more exciting. Again, we've put the controls in your hands to enforce your brand. Using the text box tools, you can edit the font, color, and format of your message. You may notice a few highlighted words in your content. That's right, your editor has its own built-in grammar and spell checker. This can be a lifesaver for identifying typos before clicking send. Better yet, it analyzes how well our email reads, offering alternative words, and recommends ways to improve sentences. If you do still make mistakes, you can undo and redo anything at any time. You can also review a timeline of edits made to your email with the trail button. Moving on from our content, we can't forget the all-important CTA, directing readers to our online store. Make it clear what clicking the CTA will do. Step inside our online store. Format the CTA as you wish. The default CTA color comes from your online setup and appearance settings, but you can overwrite them here too. Finally, Make sure it links to the correct destination. We already have a list of pre-made links so you don't have to copy and paste them in. Continue to build out the rest of your email, making use of the various content blocks available to you. Add a divider to split our email into two parts. Let's say we want to promote a particular product. Choose an image and text content block. Upload your product image and add some promotional text. For our image, we're going to add an animated twist, uploading a GIF. 
you can download a GIF from sites like Giphy. Search the one you want and open it up. Right click on the GIF to save image as. Head back to your image editor and upload the GIF as you would an image. With the text block, you can copy and paste content already prepared without losing its format. Don't forget to link the product. In this case, we're going to link the GIF straight to the product in your store. You can link straight to any products live in your online store from the product drop down list of links. The last step to creating a beautiful email is your signature. Don't forget to sign off. It's a nice way to say thank you for reading my email. Along with the sign off, it's a good idea to include any external links readers can use to engage with you online. Because this is the footer of your email, we're going to add a splash of colour to the text block. This can be done for any text box, but use sparingly. Sometimes the best presented emails consist mostly of white space. Once you're happy with your email, click preview email to see how it looks on a desktop and mobile device. Don't forget. Before sending an email, you should always send yourself a test first to double check how it looks and if the links work.